The creative life store Tokyo Hands has some of the best stationery in Tokyo. Loft is the other department store that has a very big and varied stationery section. I'll link to that video in the upper right hand corner. The largest Tokyo Hands is in Takashimaya Times Square in Shinjuku in this very large building here that is housed with the Takashimaya department store. When you enter the Takashimaya and Tokyo Hands combined store, it's like every other department store in Japan where there's just a plethora of escalators. Tokyo Hands is billed as a creative life store and it's probably exactly that. They have everything from backpacks, travel gear, suitcases, and just about any kind of beauty care products you can think of. I bought the absolute best dish drain in the whole world here. And my father practically lives here to look at the tools when he comes out to visit in Tokyo. But for me, it's all about the stationery. And on this wonderful stationery floor, you have every variety of stamps and every variety of stamp pads. They have all the things that you would expect from a very good stationery store to include things like washi tape, but where they've really stepped up their game lately is their fountain pen area. They're carrying a wider variety of inks like Tono and Limbs and Colorverse. They now carry a deeper selection of Sailor's inks, Platinum inks, along with Jayer Bond, which is surprisingly popular out here in Japan. And of course, they carry all the Ido Shizuku inks, which run about $14 here. And they carry Leonardo pens, and I was surprised that Japan has really taken to Leonardo. They're carried in about every major department store here. And like it seems in every other place in Japan, they've made extra room for glass pens and ink puddles. And like all good pen stores, they have the classics. They carry Twisby, but they're agonizingly slow in getting the new stuff. And they have a variety of inexpensive fountain pens on hang tab blister packs. One of the things you may want to try is they give free engraving service on the pens you buy there. It's pretty cool, but the nice thing, especially if you go when they're not busy, is that you can get them to engrave your pen in Japanese. And of course, they have all kinds of paper and journals. This is one place where you can get the plotter with all its refills and paper. And the Costelli journals are becoming very popular. And the nice thing about their traveler's notebook section is they have a lot of samples of what their employees have done with their traveler's notebooks. That was an elevator ride. To add another dimension to our stationary shopping, we need to check out Shibuya. The center green spot in Tokyo is the Imperial Palace, and if you see that southwest of that is Shibuya. The Shibuya station and its surrounding area in the last couple of years has been undergoing a huge upgrade. It's partly because of the Olympics and then partly because it's a confluence of several large highways, the Yamanote train line, and it's the terminus of the Ginza subway line. One of the things that Shibuya is famous for is their scramble crossing. It's an intersection where there's several crosswalks, but instead of having the lights go for the crosswalks, they just stop all traffic and then let everybody cross whichever way they want. This corner has been in several movies and there's always, it seems like some YouTuber that's getting arrested for like dragging a bed out in the middle of the intersection to take YouTube videos and stuff like that. So there's been a lot of building going on around Shibuya Station and one of the buildings to come out of that that's really close to this crosswalk area is called Shibuya Scramble Square. At 230 meters and 47 floors, it's the tallest building in Shibuya. Inside of Shibuya Scramble Square is a variety of stores to include many that sell traditional Japanese items. And a very large bookstore, 
and many shops that specialize in foods. The Japanese are foodies of the first water. This is a line to buy Eshire French butter. And like many department stores, they have a lot of restaurants, particularly near the top floors. This is Tsuru Tontan, which is a very famous udon noodle soup restaurant, and there's always a line here. They serve their noodles in very large bowls, give you <laughs> very large spoons, and then everybody wears a bib. It's kind of a fun outing. And then there's a whole floor of Tokyu hands. And it has the same variety of things as the other Tokyu hands to include kitchenware and stationery. This video is a series of three trips and this is one we did right at Christmas time and here's all their lit up Christmas cards. Lots of stickers and much of the same items that are in the other Tokyu hands. This one's a bit smaller store so there's not as much variety. And they have a more limited selection of fountain pens and inks. But the main reason many people go to Shibuya Scramble Square is to take that crazy elevator ride, then up the escalator to their observation deck. Tickets cost a little over $15 all the way down to $5 depending on the age of uh, the person. There's a couple of things that make this observation area a little bit different. And one of them is that it's just all glass. There is not any fence or anything. It's just all glass, which makes it a little disorienting. Here's a popular spot to take pictures. Many times you have to wait in line. And as you can see, it's almost a little disorienting that you've just got this glass behind you. It looks like you're just standing out in the middle of the city. Of course, the scenery is beautiful. That green spot is Shinjuku Gyoen. And on this particular day, we could see Mount Fuji. It's also a great place for celebrity sighting as it's still a popular place for people to go to. And another thing that makes this observation deck unusual, that in keeping with the Japanese fascination of outdoor escalators, there are escalators all over the place on this two-level observation deck. I think we rode the escalators up and down several times. There's also several gift shops inside with various souvenirs of Shibuya Scramble Square. But to explain the one that I have for a giveaway, I need to talk about Hachiko. This is the statue of the dog Hachiko. It sits right outside the Shibuya station and is a popular meetup place. Hachiko used to walk his master to the Shibuya train station every day and then when his master came back from work he would meet his master at the train station and walk him home. But one day his master died at work and Hachiko was waiting by the station and his master never showed up. So for almost 10 years a dog continued to go every evening to the train station to wait for its master. And Hachiko eventually became a huge hero in Japan. I always choke up a little bit when I hear this story. Of course, he's been commercialized to pieces, and I'm participating in that. So I'll be doing a giveaway of Hachiko tea bags. You hang them over the side of your teacup and then pour hot water through it. I also got some Hachiko washi tape, and just for fun, some Snoopy mints in a Shibuya scramble box. And this is increasingly becoming a common thing here in Japan and it's a mask case. So when you take your mask off, say to eat in a restaurant, you can put it in that little case. And I'll put it all in a bag that has Hachiko on it. Just head on over to my Instagram and put any kind of comment on my current picture. I think it has a teacup on it. I'll make sure I'll label it. I'll use a random comment picker to determine a winner and announce it in the next video. The winner of the special edition Prera and Kakuno is Castaface, the Instagram account Castaface. Please get a hold of me on Instagram or on the email posted on my about page. If you got something out of this video, I'd appreciate a little love in the form of a like or a subscribe. These videos are a lot of work and I'd really appreciate it. You can also check out some of the other videos I've got posted here.